Oh, freak's sakes, I'm just sitting up here minding my own business. I can hear the dog and cat downstairs really giving her. Figured they found where I hid the furnace filters. Nope, nope. I had three rolls of toilet paper in the bathroom sitting on the back of the toilet. You know, in case of emergency, reach back, grab some ass wipe, wipe bum, flush, go about your business. Go downstairs, two out of three rolls are in the living room, shredded to shit. I left the bathroom door open, and as a return for doing that, Scampers decided, let's wreck some toilet paper. Well, this is the third roll she had. I don't know if it's picking up, but uh, yeah, there's fucking two marks in it. and uh, Can't give that cat any leverage. It's almost like I need to lock her in a little room somewhere and let her realize, you know, Slowly introduce her to the rest of the house because she just can't be trusted. She's off her frickin' rocker. Like, just nuts. But, what do you expect? Cats will be cats, eh? She'll be a, uh, well, she'll be a cat soon. She's getting bigger, so that's a bonus. But, oh my god, she's just so damn destructive, and I think I say that on every freaking video. This is why I really hate kittens, because there's, they just don't care. And Felix was like that, too until I brought him in and got his nuts removed and the same with his claws. Then he tamed her down a lot because he realized, okay, I better not piss this guy off or he's going to take my dink as well or something. I don't know. But uh, he calmed down a lot after he was neutered. And maybe that's what she needs is a sexual tension gone by taking off her freaking junk. So uh, tomorrow i got to call the vet, find out uh, when we can get shit going and get the cat uh, friggin' de-vaginaed or whatever they call it and then she will not go into heat ever which will be nice because uh, one thing I hate more than anything is a freaking cat in heat oh my god is that ever annoying my buddy's cat uh, I can't remember the name but uh, they never got they got the one cat fixed but they never got the female cat fixed and like the cat would go into heat and it was just meow Meow, meow, like non-stop. You're trying to sleep. This cat is meowing. And it was like, you wanted just a field goal, the son of a bitch, because it was driving you up the walls. Like, and if you scratched her bum, she'd like present herself. And it's like, oh, dude, don't do that. What's the matter for yourself, you know? You don't do that. But um, the cat was in heat. What could you do? Not too much. Well, I'm just editing up some video footage here for Skaven Games. Uh, it's Project Zomboid. Uh, Crazy Logie showed me that uh, we can play multiplayer now. However, this is the first time I've done any multiplayer with Logie since I started using the Action Recorder by Morellis. And I didn't realize Action Recorder doesn't record Skype. And it's such a shame because on this game, like, I'm just going to blow it. Basically, they were playing from, I would probably guess, like Logie told me, they put six hours into it, and they're setting up a farm and a defensive and all that, and within like an hour, I managed to ruin everything. Everything! Like, ruined! Like, just wrecked it all. And it's so funny, the commentary from Logie, because like he's like nonstop, man. I can't believe you did that. I, I can't believe you did that. But as if you did. Like I can't. Like nonstop. Like I'm like, dude. I'm freaking sorry. I didn't mean to. You know. Fucking thought I turned the fat on the stove off. I could have sworn I turned the fat on the stove off. Type thing. And I was like nonstop. And oh my god, it was just hilarious. You know, it's not like I led the horde back to the farm or anything. Mind you, I could have. I found a lot of shotguns and shotgun shells. Totally could have ruined the day that way, but super didn't. I took a more passive aggressive approach that kind of cocked things up a lot, so go team me. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna sell the trophy truggy. As you can tell by all the dust on the spoiler here, it never gets used. It was the worst purchase I ever made. It was one of those, everybody's like, yeah man, get a truck, get a truck, get a truck, it's freaking awesome, come up to the beach, and we'll bash, and come up to the sand pits, we'll bash, and then I got a truck, and I went out twice, and put maybe 30 minutes on the truck, and not even half a battery, and uh, everybody sold their shit and quit. So, now there's nobody going out trugging, or RCing, and bashing, and all that, and I have no use for this thing, I think even Rex sold his off. 
Rex had a Tamiya or Tamiya or however the hell you pronounce that name. And I had this beast and, you know, like I rode it around for a while and like frig, well I didn't put the new suspension in it yet because uh, we never went out. But like look at the underbelly on this thing. A couple scratches here and there but this is not too bad. It's pretty mint. It's pretty clean for what it is. Like I said, 30 minutes of freaking riding. Uh, needs a new gas suspension but uh, those are down here in the Truggies toolbox right here. Let me just get this thing out and I'll show you what uh, I got a guy who wants it so basically I got uh, these aluminum pieces here no clue where they go whatever he can figure that out and I got these two sets of uh, gas struts or oil struts four batteries for it whatever they can uh, he can have those and the Venom charger do not want plus there's a bunch of junk in here no idea what the heck this is but it's there it's going with it. A bunch of these C clamps, and I guess these are the uh, plastic version of the aluminum parts I have, and I guess servos, uh, servo steering controllers, and nonsense. And yeah, I'm gonna throw all this. I'm gonna throw this box in with it. It's just a dollar store toolbox. I picked up, put all the chuggy shit in, plus the Venom charger, plus that, plus that. I'm gonna ask 400 bucks for the whole thing, and if Buddy bites, then right on. You can come scoop her up and put the new struts in himself and beat the living snot out of it I guess I don't know what you do with these things like I'm not into the RC anymore because nobody wants to RC and the only people who are keeping their RC's like uh, Adrian said he's keeping his crawler I think Cat Piss said he's keeping his crawler but I'm pretty sure he sold everything else so if they're just gonna go crawling I can't really crawl with this because it's not a crawler it's a short course truck and you can use it for bashing too. Like you can, like right now, I got the front end on the top. But with these new struts, I don't know if I ever showed these. These things are coilovers, so you can tighten up the coil and give it a real serious lift, or you can loosen up the coil and give it no lift and have it run flat on the ground like a short course truck, and then dominate the races because this thing's all wheel drive. And it's uh, I don't call it four wheel drive because it's all wheel drive, and she will not catwalk, which is nice. So when you're on the track and you punch the throttle, instead of dragging bum and not going anywhere, she just launches like a bat out of hell and goes and goes and goes and goes and turns and it's such a great handling truck, I just, I have no use for it. It was the worst investment I ever made in my life and it was an impulse investment and you know I spent about seven, it was about seven, eight hundred bucks for everything, somewhere around there because the truck was like 565, the batteries were... I'm not sure how much I paid for those batteries. I think they were like 20 bucks a piece. And I ended up buying uh, six of them. Four for me, two for uh, for Cat Piss. Because he needed some for, I guess he only had one set for his truggy. He wanted to have backups. Uh, the remote is still the stock remote. Not a big fan of it. Sometimes reverse works, sometimes it doesn't. Apparently that's a common fault with these HPI remotes. They're kind of junk. And then the Venom Charger, which uh, sells for about 50 bucks online. I'm going to toss that in, you know, and just try and offload it. And if I get 400 bucks, then right on. It's 400 bucks I can use for something else, you know, another hobby or, or whatever. Or friggin' put it into fixing up the base of the basement. The living room the way I want it. Gotta wait till spring so I can get material hauled over to the house because I don't have a truck, right? So, and I want to do some work on the living room, mainly in where the TV sits and get shit did. But, uh, yeah, yeah, whatevs, eh? Whatevs. So at Home Depot today, um, nope, didn't buy these. Those are just drill bits. I bought uh, some butane. They had this on sale for $3.99. Oh, extremely flammable. Good thing you use it on a lighter. Seriously? Whatever. And then uh, I bought, uh, they never even took the friggin' thing off. I figured they would want that. Huh, man, that looks like I stole it. Great. No, no people, I have the receipt, I bought this. 25 bucks for a Benzomatic little butane torch. Not sure if you can use this for soldering copper pipes or not, maybe you can. They show here you can use it for electronics with this, this little tip, so that's kinda neat. You know, if I wanna do some electronic soldering with butane, apparently you can. Uh, I've never used butane. I've always used my uh, electric soldering iron to get the job done, but I'm going to say fire doesn't come out the tip. What it does is it heats up the center coil, getting this thing nice and piping hot and melting solder for you, so that's pretty awesome. But what I want to use it for is wrapping coils, and what you do is, for instance, here's your canthal, right? So what you do is you take a strand of this off, and then you torch it while it's straight, 
and it takes all the springy out of it because right now she's pretty springy and then it takes all the springy out of it and then when you wrap it around your precision screwdriver like one of these jobbies uh, it doesn't bounce around it doesn't spring out it just basically takes form and then when you take your coil off the screwdriver you pinch it with a pair of tweezers and give her a good blowtorch and it'll hold that shape and then you got yourself a nice little micro coil and, or a nano coil or a micro nano coil or a super nano micro coil or whatever the frick they're calling it nowadays I give them names of these coils like crazy but I've wanted a torch because I've been using a Bic lighter and the problem with the Bic lighter is it leaves a black film on the canthal so you really got to dry burn the shit out of that coil in order to get that carbon off and then you got to wipe it down with a Kleenex to get all that carbon off because otherwise your first couple of vapes taste like fart also for like three bucks I bought this roll of self adhesive of wood grain because what I want to do with this nonsense is this is the Vamo that I bought at Blokes. It's gunmetal, really nice device, screen's really well done, you know, works really good. But I had some juice in the pro tank called Cinnabon and the juice leaked out because these pro tanks are notorious for flooding when they're in stock form. Right now it's at the air ring controller, doesn't flood, works really good. But they're notorious for flooding in stock form and then the juice leaks out of the 510 connector and then this beauty ring comes right off and the juice will leak out through these threads and roll down and this is what happened yeah peeled the gun metal finish clean off the vamo just ruined it so i was really upset by that and the worst part is is bloke knew it was going to happen uh when we were back at his house after i bought it he's like he's like those finishes never last mate those finishes ne never last and i'm like well what do you mean like I, I didn't realize it was just a friggin lee press on painted gun metal i thought they actually stained the tube gun metal i didn't realize they just trim cladded it but um yep yeah, ruined looks looks stupid now so what i'm thinking is wood grain vamo that might look kind of neat you know, have a wood grain freaking vamo. I'll even uh, do up the beauty ring maybe. Probably not, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how adventurous I get. And what I'm thinking for the buttons and that is I can just use my X-Acto knife and go like around the edges, cut that off, and then peel off the adhesive. Do that same around the buttons. And do it around the slits because this unscrews, this unscrews, the bottom cap unscrews. Look at the bottom cap. Like it's just right, just shot just ruined you know the other option i was thinking was sanding it all down and then painting it like lime green or some nonsense but then if i paint it it'll just happen again so i think this vinyl wrap is the best way to go now you can buy vinyl wraps for these mods off of uh as a bunch of people who sell them my only problem is is i looked up a bunch of the vinyl wraps on ebay and uh on the internet and stuff and for a vinyl wrap for that vamo you get one and they're like six seven eight bucks i paid four bucks for this whole tube even if it takes me three tries to get it right i'm still gonna have a lot of material left over and i'm gonna learn i'm gonna learn a skill to me that is worth more than just buying a product for more expensive doing it once and not learning how to you know modify shit on your own and do things on your own now a lot of you out there are probably saying yeah but adam you're just wasting time well luckily for me time is one thing i have now which is nice so I'm probably going to wrap that right now while I wait for those friggin' uh, Project Zomboids to uh, render. And then I'll come back and I'll show you guys the product. And uh, you guys can be a judge for yourself if wood grain Vamo looks sexy or stupid. Yeah, buddy. Well, people, there's my first attempt at wrapping the Vamo. I cut out the buttons and the screen. <coughs> Just got to cut out uh, areas. You can see the fucking seam there, eh? Oh, yeah. Don't worry about that. Who cares? It's not pro. I came as low as possible in the bottom of the battery. I just got to fold the bottom over, chop the uh, the lines for all the separators, and then fold over the top, and we'll be fucking looking pretty. I kind of like this. It's like holding the friggin' I don't know Harry Potter's wand, I guess. Yeah, does it work? Friggin' writes it works. Didn't even take the battery up before doing this. That's how hardcore I am, son of a bitch. You know, I decided not to do the top beauty ring just because I think it looks pretty awesome like that. And it was really hard to wrap it inside. See how it kind of bevels? It's really hard to do that. So that and there's air holes on this beauty ring. So I figured, you know what? I'm just going to leave it like that. It's pretty good. Just got to finish trimming. I've been using this uh, Zacto knife. Just got to finish doing a little bit of work to get the battery in and out. And uh, we'll be golden. We'll be golden. 
And there we go, people. She's all wrapped up, all cut up. Looking freaking sharp, I do say so myself. I'm actually pretty impressed with that for my first try. Yep. Yeah, there's some gnarling around the buttons and things, but they're really, really small buttons. But frigate, for my first try, not too shabby. Wood grained, friggin' gunmetal uh, of ammo. I'm gonna put her back together and give her a vape. Man, it looks so mean back together, eh? I think it looks mean. You can't even tell where the friggin' uh, battery goes in and stuff. The vinyl just blends together. Let's put a tank on this bitch. Oh, sick. Look at it. Alrighty, we got the Vamo here running at 12 watts. 12 watts with a Pro Tank 2 with an air controller on it. And it's got a 1.3, 1.4 ohm coil. Look, you can tell. 1.4 ohms. You couldn't tell. Anyway. Still works. Beauty. Oh man, I love this thing. Now it looks so awesome. And what I love about this vinyl is, um, let's say I want to change it up. The backing on it is this really weird like adhesive. Like, here, I'll show you. So I'm gonna super stick it to the table here so it never wants to come off, right? And then we got a little wood grain finish on the table. Oh, I want to get it off, okay. You know, whatever. Oh, it's still sticky too. So we can like, stick it here now. Yeah, stick it down here now. No, I don't want it there. I want, to, I want to put it over here. You see, like, this stuff here comes off so easily, and it leaves no film on the desk or on the surface. It's, I don't know if it's 3M. Is it 3M? Are, 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 you, are you 3M? Or what are you? I don't know. It doesn't have any 3M branding on it. But, um, friggin' really nice stuff, and I've used it before on uh, the legs I made. You remember that board, those legs that were on it? The one that's holding up the monitor? Well, I've used it on that, but I used the uh, faux leather, which I almost bought today. And I was going to wrap that in full leather, faux leather, false leather. But then I saw the wood grain and went, fuck yeah, wood grain. That looks cooler. Let's go with wood grain. And I did, and I'm really happy that I did because, like Rip Trippers would say, that looks sick as tits. So right on. Got ourselves a friggin' wood wrapped Vamo. And if I get sick and tired of it, I can peel it off, put something else on it. Elf, elf, something else on it. Do this. <coughs> but anyway, people, I'm going to shut her down here. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick little video on uh, all the nonsense going on. Selling the Truggy and wrapping the Vamo and, and the blowtorch and all that other awesome shit. If you did like this video, click the like button. Questions, comments, concerns down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.